There you go. What's up, Block Fam? Just bought this bike from Jerry Jer Bear over here. <laughs> We're to the point of loading it into the truck. So bought just an extra project iron for like way down the road. You probably, guys probably won't see it for a bit, but one of the requests I get a lot is people asking me how I load bikes into the back of my truck. So I do have a lifted Toyota Tacoma. It's a three inch lift. It's got some, you know, bigger knobby tires on it with smaller wheels and basically just gonna walk you guys through how I load. There's probably multiple different ways to load, but I've loaded an absolute ton of bikes into the back of this truck. So just to kind of go over, show you guys what we have. Uh, we've got two ramps. So one ramp we're gonna put right in the center to walk the bike up. And the other ramp we're gonna put off to the side to walk up ourselves. The straps, we've got three straps. So two for each, each side, left and right of the bike. And then we've got a strap for the back, which I put along the back here and go through the rear wheel just so it's reinforced. And we have, uh, I forget what this is called. I'll be sure to link all this stuff down in the description below, but this basically goes over the bars. And so you're not putting any tension on the forks or compressing the forks too much. And uh, this like little soft part in the center keeps it from scratching the tank or whatever it's touching. That is incredibly useful. Not a, not a requirement, but highly recommend it. I also have a uh, bed extender, which sometimes it fits with bikes, sometimes it doesn't. We'll see if it does with this one or not. If it does, it's just kind of like an extra added security measure. And it kind of just goes in here at a 45 degree angle, latches down and keeps everything secure. So you can do this by yourself, but it does work better if you have multiple people. So we're gonna have Jer Bear and Mikhail over here. You guys be sure to go give them a follow. Instagram's right there. Yeah, we're gonna have them kind of on standby just in case I maybe start to drop the bike, which I mean, knock on wood, we won't, but we're, we're gonna use the friction zone essentially to walk the bike up. So step one is to grab your ramps. All right, so you're gonna put your ramps like this is how I put them. You guys can put them off to the side if you wanna load it at an angle. I load it pretty much straight on. I load one in the center, one off to the left. This is the one that the bike is gonna go on. This is the one that we are gonna walk on. One of the things that a lot of people don't do is secure the ramps. So whenever you're going up here with, you know, something that's 500 pounds or so, you wanna make sure that the ramps are against the, uh, against the truck and they're not going anywhere. On that note, I did forget, we are gonna do this other little tip where we're gonna pull the truck forward so we're gonna put the rear tires here in this little dip right here. So it drops the rear of the truck. So it's not as at much of an angle, which will make loading easier. Wheels in the back in that rut there, it makes a huge difference. So now you guys will see the difference since we had it before, you guys will see it here after. Look at the difference of that angle. So much easier like this. Obviously you wanna be uh, considerate of people if you're doing this in the road. Make sure that you're not blocking or put your hazards on or whatever. All right, strap. There we go, nothing too crazy. It's just wrapped around the hitch. All right, you just don't want them to be able to go backwards. All right, so if you're loading it by yourself, you want as shallow of an angle as you can get. If it's a very steep angle, you can use the friction zone. Even if it's at this angle, you can use the friction zone. That's up to you to decide. You wanna be comfortable with grabbing the bars on the bike. So basically left hand on the left grip, right hand on the right grip. You're gonna use the front brake to control basically going up and down. Now, if you have more than one person, it is very useful to have somebody basically on the back and then somebody on this other side. So, you know, the main person is going to be controlling that front brake. That's what's gonna stop it up and down the ramp. And then communication is the biggest thing whenever you're doing this. So you wanna have a game plan beforehand whenever you're loading it. So you basically would say, okay, Jerry, I'm gonna put you on the back. So you're basically just pushing the back. I'm gonna be controlling the bars. You would be on the right if we were all loading it. So the person on the right is basically making sure that the bike doesn't start to come this way and fall off this way, right? The person on the left is controlling that balance to the left. And then they're also controlling, like I said, the front brake. And the person in the back is controlling the momentum of the bike up into the truck bed. Now the person on the left having hands on the bars is also controlling that momentum. And then just talking through all of it is the biggest 
thing that you can do to focus to have a safe load. If you're doing it by yourself, make sure that whenever you're walking, your shins are clear. So like in this case, I would put that up so it's not hitting my shin. And then you're going to essentially come back and then start to go up at it with enough momentum and then make sure your footing is good on your ramp. So, you know, with this one, you know, walk up it beforehand, you know, obviously just to make sure, but that's all good. Same with this one. I haven't used them in a little bit, but they haven't failed me yet. But they're they're solid ramps. All right, so we're in neutral. You really want to like learn the friction zone beforehand on this, so I'm just gonna use the friction zone a little bit, pull back on throttle, and just let the bike walk itself up. Now you want to leave it in gear because leaving it in gear is going to keep it from rolling backwards. Put your kickstand down, you're going to pull it back, make sure it doesn't roll, and you're in. All right, there you go. So friction zone is your friend whenever you're loading a bike by yourself. So now you're going to go ahead, strap everything down, make sure it doesn't move anywhere. That's where these things come in. So these things are awesome. So you throw one of these loops over, take the other one, and then you're just going to pull on both ends, move that little, little pad thing to the center, see, so it doesn't scratch the tank or anything. So basically you've got this one attached to this, so this is pulling from here down. This one's pulling from here down. And then we strap it up, tighten down, that's it. All right, so at this point, both the straps are on. So you're just gonna tighten them down evenly on both sides. And then uh, we're gonna use that third strap. So we've got strap on the right, strap on the left. And we'll put this one through the back. Now, some people do this, some people don't. I like to just for that extra, you know, added reassurance that I didn't go nowhere. Yeah, and then just tighten evenly on both sides. And then, this is the most important rule, guys. After you've tightened them all down, you gotta give it a good shake. And you gotta say, yeah, that ain't going nowhere. <laughs> all right, guys, there you go. Bike's loaded, ready for transport, got a strap down, which is good to go. So that is how you load a motorcycle in the back of a truck with uh, ramps, straps, by yourself. And then if you need help from friends or like whoever's helping you load the bike, uh, you got that advice too on like kind of where to put them and to communicate. So if you guys have any questions, be sure to drop them down in the comments below. Let me know. I hope this video was useful. If it was useful, be sure to hit that like button for me. Hitting that like button helps out the channel quite a bit. Hit the bell icon also so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. And until next time, ride safe, stay vigilant. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.